Hi, I'm Kristen Griego with Griego Mouthpieces. I've decided I'm going to do a few more videos for YouTube in 2023 um, because I'm not going to be able to travel to as many trade shows as I have in the past. Um, so this is what you're going to get stuck with, a few videos. Now, Griego Mouthpieces will still be at trade shows um, in our normal places and we'll keep you posted on our Facebook page of where we're going to be going. But last year I had a, a, a small back issue and so I'm trying to rehab my back and get off the road and off my feet for long periods of time. So after 26 years of doing this job, it may have caught up with me a little bit and I needed to do some rehab. So this is what you're stuck with. So here we go. Today I wanted to talk about consistency of playing. A lot of times I get players that think it's absolutely them when they come in to play uh, and test equipment and or mouthpieces. And some of the times I'll get to a point where they're frustrated, I may be a little frustrated, and I'll just grab their mouthpiece and look at the back of it. And what I'm looking for is backbore shank damage. And nine times out of 10, there will have some weird wear or a concentricity issue with, with the mouthpiece. So I'll, I'll tell you what to look for and how to improve your playing if your mouthpiece is in shape, is in fact damaged. Um, so we all know what uh, a good backbore and shank looks like, right? It's everything's round and the center is round to the outside. So that is what you want. You want the wall to be even on all sides, on the inside to the outside. If the inside is off to the outside, those two circles, then concentricity is affected and the blow of the mouthpiece is gonna be different every time you put it in the instrument and I'll explain why. Um, same thing for a damaged shank. If you have a mouthpiece that has a damaged shank, um, like I'll show you some pictures of these. I'll, I'll take this, this is an old, early 1900s Frank Holton and the, the, the backboard is really compromised. It's really wonky. Um, I'll take pictures and we'll put them in here. And then um, I have uh, another mouthpiece that I played in college that the backboard is a little wonky. And you can even see, if, if, I don't know, let's see if this will focus in on there, but the wear pattern on this is a little wonky. Um, so in these cases, when I have a, a mouthpiece that's damaged, I'll generally repair it as best possible with uh, a mouthpiece tool, uh, and then, but that's gonna that will burnish the brass and work hard in the brass a little bit. So it's it's gonna affect the response. Um, but then once you've got it to where the ends, it's now round as opposed to being flat on one side. Once you've got it as close to round as possible, what you should do is take a magic marker and mark the mouthpiece. It doesn't really matter where. Um, this is says Holton and Co. Elkhorn. So right on the end, I'm gonna just draw a line. I'm gonna draw a line right there. And then with that line, I'll actually put the mouthpiece into the instrument and I'll put that line at what I call 12 o'clock. So as I'm playing, the line will be at 12 o'clock. And then I'll play the instrument and then I'll move the line to six o'clock, which is straight down. Now, as I'm holding it, it's facing the ground and I'll decide which one plays better, 12 or six. Then I'll try three and nine. Um, if, and then, so I'm, 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 the pendulum's going, you know, boom, 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 boom. And then if it's here and here uh, is kind of the best, then I'll go in between and then get really, really close. Um, or, or to where I feel it plays the best. Now, every time I play, I'm going to put that mark at that point so that the mouthpiece airflow into the instrument is always the same. If you have a mouthpiece that's damaged on the back and you keep putting it in a different location and wondering why your instrument feels different and you're having consistency issues in some of the registers, you may get it backing up in one way or you know uh, falling off a, a cliff too open. And center. Just try this and find where it plays best and always put the mouthpiece in that location. That may solve your issues. 
Now, a lot of times, you've got a mouthpiece, you've had it for 10, 15, 20 years, and it's had some damage and repair work. Well, every time you repair it, it thins out. And so now the concentricity can be affected. Um, the inside to the outside, it's a little thinner wall on either side of the mouthpiece. And when you go to try a brand new version of that mouthpiece, it may not feel the same. It won't. Why? Because the brass was just machined, buffed, plated, and it doesn't have 20 years of age hardening. Brass over time will age harden. And so that's why when you have an old mouthpiece that you love, it's had 20 years of, of work hardening, of going in and out um, of the, the taper, of the receiver, the taper against the receiver, it's wear and tear and work hardening and burnishing, that mouthpiece is gonna play, you know, like it has 20 years. And when you get a new one, um, <clears throat> it's not gonna probably play exactly the same because it also doesn't have those microscopic little damages um, to the mouthpiece that you've done over the years affecting the flow. So little things to think about as you're practicing and playing. I hope this helps. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already thought about this and are gonna tell me in the comments, I've already done that, I've done that for years. You know, we did that 20 or 30, good, good. Cool. I'm glad, glad you know this stuff, but others don't, and I'm, I'm just trying to get the knowledge out there. So if you have any topics you'd like to see me cover on uh, mouthpieces for any instruments and or um, any, any topic in regarding mouthpieces, trombones, trumpets, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and make some videos for you. So if you have any mouthpiece needs and you're, you're shopping, go to griegomouthpieces.com. Um, and check us out. We've got a few there. Have a great day. See you soon.